We're doing this? I guess we're doing this. <sighs> All right, we'll make it simple. Where have I been? Lots happened since the last time I was really vlogging. Uh, honestly, I kind of stopped vlogging right around the time COVID started. And I guess the only reason I really stopped vlogging in the first place was with COVID and kind of everything that happened in 2020, I just wasn't flying very much. So there wasn't much to talk about. There wasn't much to show, but uh, I've been doing quite a bit of flying this year, honestly. I haven't been filming it at all because I've just kind of, I've taken the step back moment of just enjoying it and enjoying it for myself, not through the eyes of the camera. I think the other piece of it too, though, is I really struggled to really find what my message was in all of this, you know, it started out as kind of just putting cameras in an airplane and, and seeing what it was, seeing what I could do um, and what kind of tips I could pass along with that, which had a pretty good reception, but I feel like at this point it's kind of played out. There's not a lot left to talk about with that. In a sense, I felt like my mission as a vlogger was kind of carried out, or, or at least the story I was trying to tell was carried out. A lot has changed with the status of kind of everything. General aviation, uh, aircraft ownership, all of that is new and different today than what it was a year ago. At the end of the day, I, I kind of came to the realization though that me flying around in an old beat up 172, it's just not a story, or at least not the story I was telling. You just have to know how to tell it. And I was not doing a very good job of that. The interest of the flying community just kind of fell off. So why keep going? The story is a little bit different now. Um, and I guess I can get into what all of that means is what's changed between the beginning of 2020 and today here at the end of 2021. So to start with, I think the biggest change in me personally and as an aircraft owner is that I don't have my airplane with a flight school anymore. I pulled it off lease back at the end of September uh, and I'm rolling completely solo, owning and managing this thing now. And I think what I realized, it's probably something I've glossed over a lot in really the last three and a half years of owning an airplane. And that is that owning an airplane sucks. Like this is not easy. This is not an easy thing to do. Honestly, at this point, I mean, I think I could almost qualify myself as an addict to the point that I've yet to reach that threshold of money that's like, oh God, I can't do this anymore. But I've had $500 bills for this airplane for uh, insurance or nav data subscription for the 430. Something I wish I would have known before I ever bought an airplane. And you just pay that. And, and you stomach that because despite all the bad and all the frustration and all the things that can go wrong owning an airplane, I'm never not chasing sunsets. I'm never not chasing that perfect experience of flying an airplane. I'm always looking forward, I'm always having that. And I haven't been filming those moments lately. I flew a full IFR flight plan from Fulton County back to Nashville three weeks ago. Didn't film a lick of it because I was just so in the moment and experiencing it that I, Worrying about, are all the cameras filming? And how am I gonna edit this? And what's this shot gonna look like? Was, I didn't care about that. I wanted to just fly and enjoy it. Because here I am flying above the clouds, really kind of for the first time solo in my life. And there's a beauty in that that I didn't want to waste worrying about filming. I think the other thing I realized too, honestly, is that I was filming flight vlogs for aviation people and aviation content that I thought would be captivating and interesting. I think what I realized though, is that I was really filming to capture memories of myself, my kids, my family, and how aviation kind of all tied that together. And maybe that was more what I needed to be doing all along, was just making videos to, to capture the memory and, and sharing that story. I think I put too much emphasis on the flying components and not enough on the destination, where flying is just the vessel that gives me the ability to experience things and go on these journeys. And I think that's a little bit better story to tell. My goal is to inspire somebody else who's been on the fence about flying or getting into flying to see something about a trip I took or something my kids and I did, how we went to a baseball game for a day and went home, didn't have to get a hotel room or anything, flew the plane up, went to a game, flew home, and that's the catalyst that made them say, I'm going, I'm doing this. So that's the story of me in this airplane. And now that I'm on my own with it, I feel like I have more of a story to tell. I don't have to tread so lightly because I'm not worrying about partnerships and, and kind of how all of that worked. I, I can be a little bit more honest. I can, I like saying bad words. I like saying 
Knuckles. Okay, I'm just proving a point. You don't have to celebrate it, Frank. I, I, I don't want to play a character anymore. I want to be the pilot I am and fly the plane the way I fly it and be candid. If I screw up, I screw up. If I do good, I do good. I just want to be truthful. I want to be honest. I want to talk about what FBOs suck and what's difficult to deal with in general aviation. I want to talk about why aircraft ownership is such a pain in the ass or the pros and cons of doing different things with an airplane. I want to be able to talk about that and not worry about stepping on somebody's toes. So that's what I'm doing. And I don't really care if the community likes it or not. These are the memories that I get to share with my kids and my family. So that's where we're going. Follow along or don't. <laughs> Honestly. It's the weirdest thing I've ever said as a YouTube content creator, but um, my goal is to share my passion for aviation, show you some cool stuff along the way, products I believe in, companies who believe in me. Um, I'm not looking for paid endorsements. I'm not looking for any of that stuff. I just want to have fun with this. So I guess that's it then. Expect a much more candid and honest view of general aviation for me in 2022 and what this channel is all about. As always here at the end, I highlight companies that I believe in or that I'm associated with. These aren't paid endorsements, I just think they're things you should check out. I'm not going to go through the whole spiel of like and subscribe and all that. Just watch a channel or don't. 